Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm hanging up more pants. Surprise, surprise. Who was here early? I just saw that there was a couple, couple early people, couple early birds. <clears throat> what? What? Oh. Are we live? We're live. Hi. All right. We're on the power hours again. We have all we have all the pants. So many. We're pants. gonna list twenty cards of pants. Matthew, come on, Seth. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I just responded to. I think you commented on YouTube. Those are pants. Yeah. Oh. All right. I've got a coffee and a tea. Isn't there a gin? Uh, what's that thing? G love. Isn't there a G love song, song about having coffee and tea? Two coffees and one tea or something. Anyway, I got it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on top of that. That sounds like, that totally sounds like a G Love song. There's something, I don't know. What's that mean? Hey, JB, how are you? <laughs> You're right. Something about a coffee and a tea. That's all I know. Is that a line from Cold Beverages? Probably. Doing my shipping real quick. Oh, I thought you said shopping. I was like, what are you looking up? So cool if people do like on online arbitrage. Matt just cracked a Red Bull. All right, baby. Uh -oh. I'm drinking uh -oh. coffee. Let's go. Seven pair clean and ready to photograph. Are they Chucks or what? What are you What are you doing? Oh, I did. Yeah, when my hair is natural like this, it was crazy. This is day two. It's like it's getting pretty big. I need to do something about it. Just don't judge me right now. Tell her it's not crazy. It's not crazy. She thinks it's Just like don't judge it's me. like this big. I feel like a cowardly lion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Amanda drinking vitamin water. Okay. Energy vitamin water. What's that in it? Oh. Ginseng. Converse, Allbirds, BZ's, Merrill, three box advance. Okay. 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 My hair gets wild too. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Day two hair, man. It is. Day two hair. So you can't brush it when it's like this because then it gets like. If anybody wants to know about my hair right now, it is not brushed. <laughs> it is a big old tangle factory. It's a tumbleweed situation. <laughs> Whoa. It's actually very warm in here. Yes. I was just about to comment. I saw the uh, I saw the temperature of the remote sensor. It is a balmy 77 degrees. Tenants, am I right? <laughs> God. Up there. Woo. Our tenant doesn't use the H. <laughs> Has their own separate HVAC that shares with their office, but doesn't use it. It's fine. So whatever it is outside, that's what it is inside. And it's 77 outside. <laughs> Stupid Texas. Here we go. We're gonna start on the oh. the pants um, extravaganza. I like it. Oh, it has caffeine in it. Vitamin water stepping up their game. I like this. Can you hand me that pants hanger? That black plastic one? Oh my god, why gotta be the black one? It looks better in the photos. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's not as distracting as the clear one with the big metal tabs. Kinda. All right. So, if you saw our YouTube video today, you know we went into we got 318 items, <laughs> and maybe a third of those are pants. So we're trying to kind of get through those. Also. 
also. I was going to say hi to April, who hey. may be lurking. Got some professional lurkers here today. Okay. If you're lurking, check in. <laughs> we get lots of lurkers. There's a lot of activity happening upstairs. Nope. We got two Amandas here. Uh -oh. So Amanda Green, meet Amanda Fireball Flippers. Two Amandas. One stream. What do you know? Can you turn on my can? My... One second. <laughs> April is here. It won't let her type. You cannot type. You have to be subscribed for at least 10 minutes. Because you need 10 minutes. Because we get the, what do you call them? The spam bots. Spam bots. Chat bots. And they are <laughs> they're relentless. evil and relentless. <laughs> James is here too. What's up? Tonight, my name is Amanda also. We have three Amandas here. Hello, Amanda. James, Amanda. <laughs> Hello. Come on. Oh my gosh, you guys fell in love in Jake's life? Why doesn't anybody fall in love in my life? That's annoying. That is annoying. It's fine. Jake's cool. We like him. All right. Uh, Dan is cleaning these. I think these are Eileen Fisher pants. They are. There's a little bit of it's just being stubborn. So the hot tip is hot if there's tip. a little like schmutz on the pants, surface schmutz, not a stain. Okay. We're talking like deodorant, something like that. Just take a pair of tights. Tights work better than hose. Take a pair of tights. Keep them in your office. And rub it with the tights. Deodor comes off like super easy. <laughs> Hot tip. Okay. We call them office hose. All right, makes everything great. So I'm gonna search for uh, Eileen Fisher. What are these? Mm -hmm. You just like I don't know. Look at them and. Get in there with those. Another spot. Oh man. These are a stretch crepe. Stretch crepe pants. Hold on. Bam, there they are. Okay. So once you sell enough Eileen Fisher, you kind of know what they are. These are a size K. 2X. A size 2X. So we're gonna go over here and scroll down to solds and figure out what they're actually selling for because what they're listed for is one thing what they're selling for is quite another all right we're gonna go with this one oh not better. perfect but better better oh no you burnt your tongue oh that's the worst <laughs> oh my god matt matt made up a slogan Deodorant stain woes? No problem. Just grab your office hose. <laughs> <laughs> Can it. you make a little YouTube clip for that? We'll put oh, it at the man. end of every single video, right before Mojo. We'll put Matt being like, you know how you have like a spot, <laughs> a, a commercial spot? <laughs> I love it. Great sidelight. Do you have to... Sorry, y'all. Sidelight. I'm in sidelight duty. Sorry. I don't do sidelight on black items. I get yelled at. You get yelled at. All right, so I'm just going to go Eileen Fisher System Washable Stretch Crepe Pants, which are what these are. I know because I've sold 100 pairs of them. They are slightly more valuable being in the size because they are more rare. So these sold for $64.95 pre-owned. I'm going to price ours at about $80. Rarer. Rarer, rarer, rarer. <laughs> All right, Eileen Fisher. We're going to put the title first and then the size. You said 2X? 2X. Plus size 2x okay. we're out of characters so we're gonna go take this out so the eileen fisher plus size stuff does say eileen fisher woman woman page. just so you know it's kind of like barter with characters sometimes plus size 2x Blonde pants. Four more characters here. It says black plus size washable stretch crepe. Black blonde pant. Pants. Pants. Viscose nylon legra. Oh, I thought you said stretch. Stretch. 
Shannon wants to talk about cross listed. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Start on the eBay in August and know nothing about other platforms. Oh, <laughs> for right, Ro- Roche. I see you. What's up, Krillin? <laughs> um, okay. Shannon. Shannon. Listen up, Shannon. So, cross listing is the ish, but you need a cross listing software or extension to do it, in my opinion, because I am too crazy to keep up with it. Oh, good question. Matt Matt started with the logical question. What do you sell? I'm all like, get on this. <laughs> we use Vendu and you upload. So Vendu is like a hub for all your listings. And so when we cross list, we do it through Vendu. And then when it sells, we push sold on Vendu. You can see it at the end of today's video. We push sold on Vendu and it delists from the other platforms. We do double sell things, but very rarely. And when we do, we take eBay takes precedent. That's just how it is. <coughs> Uh, what's the number? 6217. So, anywho, I highly recommend it, but I wouldn't do it like free ball it. I just wouldn't do that. I would get so messed up. Some people do, though. They just. Just do it all manually? Yeah, manually do it. That's oh, the word, man. not free ball. Sorry, that is very unprofessional. <laughs> 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 this is very unprofessional. <laughs> they do it manually. So, when something sells on one platform, they go to each platform and delist it. Girl, I can't do that. I can't keep up with it. I highly recommend them do. We have a link if you want to get a discount or something. I don't know what it is. But there's also a, another software called List Perfectly that some people use. We've tried both. And then do what's better first. Uh, I sold, what did we sell over the weekend? Like nine things on Poshmark that I would never yeah. have sold if we hadn't cross listed. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. Good weekend on Posh, that's okay, for sure. Okay, good. I got some backup here. It's so much more work without a cross-listing platform. Woo! Rebasing it. That's what I'm supposed to say. Krillin, thank you. Krillin coming in with the PC term. <laughs> that was, Imagine. That's a mad drug reference. Well, we're not going to go there. Vintage hard goods closed because of y'all. Oh, oh. Really a little bit of everything. That's how we like it. A little bit of everything. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, 704 for the list. Come on. $4. So since you're all, oh, oh, Matt does it manually. Oh, Lord, Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, oh. <laughs> How do you do this? How do you keep track? I couldn't do it. Yeah, first place. What's up, Teresa? Nobody's ever late. Ever. He said, but I'm a psychopath. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's the end scene? Heard. Um, what? 28. All right, so a lot of new people here tonight. Hi. Hey, are there new people? Yeah. If you're new, say hi. And well, April can't say hi. No, She's she can now. Box. It's probably been it's probably been ten minutes. She's in the penalty box. <laughs> um, but basically, no. I I heard some people on YouTube coming over to Amanda's here. She's new. That dose Amanda's. All right. The minute something sells, I go do less. Gosh, man, I don't know how you do that. Dan would be like, oh, hey, April. <laughs> April's here. April's oh, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. She's finally allowed in. Forgot to tell you there was a waiting period. You had a waiting period. You had a timeout. You were like, no, girl, no. All right. So or can you weigh those for me and tell me? They're first class. First class. First class. What's up, Christine? How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So in our workflow, Dan takes the pictures and I create a skeleton draft and then drop in the pictures. Right now we're going to list them, but usually we do this separately. But on nights like tonight, we're going all the way and listing them because we're trying to get to 20 listings tonight. One day. We're actually doing pretty well with it. We got a lot of 318 things and we've already listed a hundred almost a hundred in three days. Four days. What's and, today? And we've already sold a good number of them. Yeah, we've sold 14 so far. Today is what, Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, today's Tuesday. Today so Tuesday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days now. Including today, and we've listed a hundred. So we're going pretty fast. I love that.
ask all the questions. I know there are new people here, so ask questions. I'll try to answer them. Try to group all the like pants together here. So what Dan is doing is something we recommend people do is to batch your items to put all the same things together because you get in kind of a groove. And so he's putting all the pull-on jeans together and then all the ones that are black and the same brand and, and that kind of a thing. It makes us go a lot faster once we started doing that. I know you've heard it before, but actually do it. We heard it for <laughs> like three years and we didn't actually do it. We were like, nah, no way. Right? Okay, fine, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> so Poshmark is your suggestion to start if your nightmares about having to share stuff. Oh, no, no, you, you don't share stuff. You, get you don't box. actually, yeah. Yeah, you get Nobody a box actually if you do that. Stuff. I have less listeners this week than I did last week, and I've been listening every day, so that's exciting for me. Come on, Amanda, stepping it up, listening every day. Okay, this is the soft surroundings. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, Dan. I think these are the superlas. These are the superlas. We know this, but if we didn't, soft surroundings has a style number. So I'm going to type in what size? Size is a 2X. Soft surroundings. Actually, I'm gonna go to my. I'm just gonna find my listing. Soft surroundings. Superla. Pull on denim. But if you didn't know this, soft surroundings does have a style number that you can find them. So our listings are not coming to the very, very top, and I know why. Because we we, we don't have them. Yet. No, we have not promoted them yet, and that's okay. I, I just. Yeah, I gotta redo that tomorrow or something. Yeah, we've been selling stuff not promoted, and I'd rather sell it. <laughs> you know, when it's hot off the presses like that. Actually, we just sold a superlose. Maybe I'll go to the sold. So I, I'll scroll down here to go to the solds. And normally, when I'm doing this by myself, I just create a really, really quick what I call a skeleton draft. Sold. I know we sold today, so. Isn't yeah. that weird? It is weird. Our souls are not coming up. Very weird. It's fine. It's fine, everybody. What size are these? Two X. What's up, Angela? How you doing? Oh, these are these are it right here. So this is the one we just sold, thirty nine ninety five, right here. Hello. And so what I'm gonna do is click on this listing. But if any listing, I would search from highest to lowest to find the highest solds, obviously. And then I'm gonna go to sell now and sell one just like it, so I don't have to re-enter all the information. And these are also in indigo color, so everything checks out. These are the exact same pants that we already sold. But since we sold them, I can't do a quantity of two. I'm going to list them. Six, two, one, eight. Yep, this checks out, checks out. So Chino is here because these are more of a pull-on pant. And if I put jeans, that implies that they're a five-pocket construction with a belt, I mean with a buckle and a zipper. So I leave it as Chino. <coughs> and they sold, so it's okay. And hopefully the measurements are the same. If not, I'll go in here and change what Dan writes down. Pre-owned, and I have keyboard shortcuts. Say all of these things. If you don't have a Mac, I'm sorry, but I don't know how to teach you how to make short keyboard shortcuts. I'm sorry. You have to download a Chrome extension. There's a Chrome extension to do it. So basically, when I push M, dollar sign, space, it types in the phrase that I want it to type in. And so I always do excellent pre-owned condition, no rip stains or tears, and please see detailed measurements in the photos. And we know that these just sold for $39.95, so we're gonna put in here. And I think these have to go priority because they're over a pound. Pretty sure. JB, why are you recommending someone else's YouTube channel? God, <laughs> I'm just kidding you. We started with Poshmark as well. Wait, I gotta get caught up on these comments here. I crossed in my soul and it sold on two different sites. Uh oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> Double afterlife and purgatory gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
three eBay sales today and then so promoted. Okay, let's talk about this, Matt and James, since you're both here. We sold 13 things today. None of them were promoted. What do you say? Okay, seven of them I didn't promote. But the other ones I sold were not promoted. Uh, and yesterday the same thing happened. We have all of our listed listings promoted, but they're not selling promoted. I don't know what is happening. It's so freaking weird. Never happens. And now it's happening. I don't know. We got a new to the work room. And I noticed that you're having shipping categories instead of scrolling through the maximum amount of shipping options. How do you start creating this? Okay, perfect question. There is this, there is a video on our Hustle Couple YouTube channel, and it's called Getting Started on eBay Step 1. That's what it's called. And it shows you how to set up shipping and business policies. And we think that you should start there because it is so much easier. Let me tell you. And then when you want to change, so say the holiday comes and they raise everything by a dollar, you just go into your shipping policy and raise everything by a dollar and it makes your whole store convert. So it shows you exactly how we do that. And I hope that you can go check that video out. It's a different YouTube channel than this one. It's called The Hustle Show. <clears throat> and it's a playlist called Getting Started on eBay. And it's the first video. It's I think you will find it in, invaluable. Do you agree? I agree. It's a, I'm proud of it. Proud of that video. Yeah, these are priority. So Matt says all his listings are promoted and they're not selling promoted either. What I'm wondering is if they are selling promoted and we're not getting charged for it yet. You know how eBay likes to do that thing like, oh, we forgot to charge you two weeks ago. <laughs> That's what I think. I think they're all going to hit it one time and I'll be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. there they go. All my bookkeeping is messed up and now I got to go back. That's what's going to happen. You watch. Something's going on with promoted. I cannot put my finger on it, but something is going on. All right. So I put in all of this that I know. I don't put in every single thing. What's the end scene? 30. Correct some of this because these pants are a little different, actually. Yeah. Waist? 38 to 44. I normally try to pick something in between 42, maybe. All right. He's going to airdrop the pictures. I'm going to drop them in here. We're going to list this thing. We're going to get going. JB, I'm joking you. <laughs> you can promote whatever you want to. We have no rules here. Literally no rules in this one. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Once we get monetized, we'll have to, we'll have to implement rule number one. <laughs> Don't, don't be an a-hole. Never be an a-hole. <laughs> don't even take that off there. I'm just turn it off on you. Yeah, I haven't been able to send out more than like five offers at any point today. eBay is a little bit slow. I'm not complaining because we're making sales, but it is going slow. For us, at least. All right, if you're new and you have questions, do not fear. We have a really, really great group of people here that are smarter than me. We can help you. And we can try to help. Here we go. Let's do it. Same exact thing. No, Teresa said that's our um, rule in our other Facebook group. It says the a-hole word. It says it all spelled out because we had to be explicit about it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to leave any room for error. <laughs> we have one rule. You can promote your YouTube. You can promote whatever you want to in there, but you can't be mean. Can I just send you new pictures of the wiping board? Because these are exactly the same. Okay, so when you want to do quantity too. Whatever you want to do. Um, that, I need to change something. It won't let me, I can like change the title a little bit. I'd rather do a separate listing so that we don't get confused. Create a similar listing is right here. So if you have a 
exact same thing. Just do that. <laughs> Click on top chat to hide Matt. Don't hide Matt. He's just, <laughs> he's just doing what he's told. Yeah, you send me a new measurement board. And I'll just I have three. Uh-oh. Well, don't do them all at once. I gotta... I gotta change the title a little bit or won't let me do it. Yeah, these are actually also... Cool. But they're a little bit... I think they might be a little bit... Yeah, they look more, a little, more, like, mid-wash. <clears throat> Okay, so you already send you just a new wipey board for these? Yeah. If the tag looks the same and everything. Everything's exactly the same. I mean, the lady that we bought this stuff from, she bought multiples of everything. That's the good thing. It does make it quicker to list if there's multiple of these. All right, so what Dan does is he writes, I, I'm just saying this because there's a lot of people here um, that are new. He writes the number here, which is our inventory number, and then the size, this is just a picture frame with a thing I printed out from, I made. And then he just wipes it off with a tissue. <laughs> it's pretty high tech. Very, <laughs> very high tech and patented <laughs> getaway. Actually, it's on the bottom of all of our YouTube videos <laughs> if you want it. You can have it. I think I got the frames of the Dollar Tree, no jokes. I still believe that that is the best um, part of reselling and catching this stuff. That's how my mom buys five of the same item in the same color or a few different colors if she likes it. <laughs> but she never wears it. Shopaholic mom in the house. <laughs> Does your mom want to sell anything? Okay, what is the difference in women's blazer and a women's suit jacket? There's no way to tell by the eye the difference. A lot of women call a suit jacket a blazer. What I would call a suit jacket is something that has pinstripes. If it has pinstripes, it's meant to go with a skirt or, a, or pants. That's what I would call a suit jacket. And that's there's no like formal way of distinguishing, okay? But that's what I would do. If it has pinstripes. So you don't want to do three in a row? No, no, I will. I, I just don't. I just want. I'll actually it. take. I'll actually take pictures of this one. Cause yeah, because they're different. Different. But I'll still sell similar. Yeah. The measurements and everything are the same, right? On uh, that one. No, on the one you just did. Yeah. These are these are a little bit worn out, more worn. Okay. They don't go down to thirty-eight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, oh, she they actually wore these. They started forty. Well, if it, I mean, if it's, I, mean, I could take this off her hands. <laughs> Everybody's like, what's your mom wearing? <laughs> I just call them blazers unless they have a skirt or pants. Exactly right, Amanda, me too. New offer! Yeah! All right. So what I'm going to do here is go to click on this right here, and I'm going to go to action. I'm going to go to sell somewhere. I'm joking. And I'm just going to change, well, the photo is going to be different because Dan's taking photos and take all this out. Then I'm going to say size 2X, I'm going to say mid-wash. Because they're not, like, they're not as dark they're anymore. Not as dark. They're not indigo anymore. And then I'm going to put them in <coughs> I'm going to copy the title, plus size 2X, blue, yep, yep, yep. And a knit, cotton blend, elastic waist. I'm going to get the new measurements from him. And then I'm going to go down here and copy and paste the title here. The beginning. Carhartt and Wrangler. Okay. Why didn't do seven for all mankind? What do you mean? This one, I don't have, I don't have a seven for a kind. I don't know what that is. Where do you see a Y, JB? I don't see a Y. Scroll up. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. 
and read the pants. Why? Do, 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 do. No, I don't have this. I see all of these, but I don't put anything there. I see seven from mankind. Where do you see this? I see it where it says model, but I didn't select anything. <clears throat> yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. These are these are suggested. I did not select them. No, this isn't because these are soft surroundings. I'm not selecting anything. It has to have the little line around it to mean I selected it. These are just suggestions. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It always suggests, I guess because the seven is first in alphanumeric. It should be called numeric alpha, actually, but whatever. <laughs> so they always suggest these. But if you click here, it's like a million different brands, not just seven for all mankind. See? They never have what I want, so I just skip that part. measurements or the only difference is the way it starts at 40 and goes to 44 well i'll still keep 42 oh. so when dan gives me a elastic waist i always just pick he puts it on the board like 38 to 42 but i just pick something in between to put in a specific I don't know. I'm like well hasn't failed us yet that we know of right? <laughs> that we know of <clears throat> All good. All right, so I'm listing all of these pants at $39.95. I'm sure there's variation in what they're worth. I don't care. You know what I mean? We're trying to get them listed and get them sold. Now we're doing some black pairs of the same pants. Mm -hmm. But some on the inside waistband. Yeah, some of these were like that. I don't know what that was. I feel like it's glue. Did you try to office host them? No. I mean, it is on there. I know. I feel like somebody tried to put like a name tag. Okay. And then they pulled it off or it came off in the wash. This mm. is like residue from Maybe like an iron on or something. Mm -hmm. I'll just note it. I left a couple pairs there that were like that. But this one wasn't that bad. Yeah, everybody grab one thing out of your death pile and get it listed right now. Once you list one, the next one's super easy. Because you're like, well, I already did one. Might as well do two. That's what we say, at least. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do these first. Because these are exactly the same as the blue ones, but in black. And then I'll do those after these. So these are the superlas? These, these black ones, yeah. Are these superlas in my hand? No, the tag's different. They might be older. I see. All right. So again, here's the uh, the board with the sizes that Dan did. And I'm missing the front or the back of these. I only have one full length picture. Okay. Hmm. And eBay's stuck, which is my favorite. So I have to go down here and go save for later. And I have to go back into the listing right here. 
Zoom draft. Can you send them all again because it messed up anyway? Yeah, one second. It didn't, um, it missed it in the photo room. If I missed it. I had some snacks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All the pictures coming again. All right, perfect. Here we go. Trying it again. This is how I know eBay's like. Mm, did you send them? Yeah. Did I get them? It says you did. Okay, well, I, I need to turn it back again. Oh, no, no. Well, it's just taking a second. Oh, eBay's having an issue. Gets flooded. We'll just wait a while. Exactly. <clears throat> it's stuck again. What's everybody listing tonight? Well, trying to list. I'm trying. Save for later. We're going to try it one more time because their time's a charm. So it goes to your drafts if you do save for later. Any of the pictures again? Nope. Okay. Pictures are here. Just getting them onto the website. Right. It's thinking. It's Mommy Bahama silk dress. That should do well. We do well with that. Same pants in black. There are two X as well? Mm-hmm. Treat. Okay, Shan says, I have some sweaters to list that are as wide as they are as long, kind of like a poncho, if that makes sense. Any help on what they are really called, taking full advantage of picking your brain. Okay, perfect. So if they're as wide as, are they long? Are they wide and long? So like what you're saying, like a poncho, they're not just like a boxy fit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wide and long is definitely a poncho. And do they have like little armholes? So if it's if it's narrow and long with little armholes, that's a captain. Captain. But if it's wide, like a square with armholes, that's a poncho for sure. Longer burger basket, and working on car cartoons. Nice, nice variation. I love it. They are a square with armholes, but not sleeves. That's exactly what a poncho is. I mean, if you want to get like real technical with it, that's actually a toga in Greek form. That's how you made a toga. But nowadays we would call it a poncho. We don't call it a toga. But that's what a toga is. <laughs> don't call it a toga. That would be weird. Baby's trying to buy your toga. Superla black. One, two X. What are the measures? Thirty six to forty four. Thirty six to forty four. So we're gonna go in with a healthy forty. Mm -hmm. And the inseam? Thirty. Thirty, perfect. So all of those, if they don't have armholes, they just have seams down the side. All of those are from 
ancient weaving techniques, right? Because it's really hard to make a sleeve. You have to sew it together and you can't make it all in one piece. But if you have like a poncho, you can make it all in one piece on a loom. So you have to think about like why things are made the way that they are, why they're constructed that way. And garments with sleeves are relatively modern if we think about it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, sleeves didn't come around until like medieval times. And um, everything before then was kind of like all one piece and they would like stitch it around the, the perimeter. <laughs> so you couldn't really like, bend your arms there. <laughs> So a lot of things just have armholes. You had a little bit of range of motion, just a little bit. So we measure right across the bust. And then, I mean, it's a square, so you can do the hips, but you don't really need to. And you measure the length. And you say boxy fit. And we normally put items like that on some sort of dress form or mannequin. Because of how they drape and how they lay, it looks better than just having a big old square on your flat leg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've done it. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, for sure. We have done it. <clears throat> hey, did you send photos over? Of the black ones? Yeah. Probably not. Okay, perfect. We are listing 20 items tonight. At least. I can't get Dan to stay longer than that. <laughs> as soon as we hit 20, he's like, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I just keep drinking coffee. Tim, check on how much coffee I'm drinking. <laughs> Amanda, I think you can lose by yourself, but it's more fun with friends, right? Don't let me be the reason for wasting coffee. That's not good. Okay, thanks just coming. All right. JB coming in with the research. Yes. The Serape. Long blanket like shawl. Sorry, I can't read anymore. Hold on. Oh, I messed up. I still got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I got it. Yeah, so that's true. The strape is brightly colored and worn in Mexico by men. That's so true. We would just call it like poncho, I think. That's like the more fashion friendly term, less specific term, I think. And a lot of, like, maybe five years ago, ponchos were super in for women. Actually, there's a poncho joke on the new season of Dead to Me. <laughs> She goes to TJ Maxx and buys a poncho, and everybody's like, nice poncho. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I love that show so much. It's like a whole poncho bit. Yeah. What is this? These are Joan Vess. Uh-oh, we got a new brand here. Vess what? They look like leggings. Are they ponty? Oh, no, they're leggings. All right. Do you guys inventory your items in the same round that you photograph, or do you do that on a different day? What part of the day do you photograph? Good. All of these are great questions. We inventory exactly right away because uh, I, I don't know how new you are here, but I have severe ADD, like, they would never get inventoried for 17 years. And so Dan is the inventory guru. He puts them in a bag with a number. And then I put the number into the listing and we put it right into the box. And then the box goes onto the shelf at the end of the night. It's the only way we could do it. Before we started reselling, I had to have an inventory system. We have had this since day one. If we had done it any other way, it would have been an absolute nightmare can you imagine can you no. imagine no i don't even want to think about it thank you very much <laughs> it would have been wow so the people that put their stuff into a pile and then inventory it and go through and add in i i don't bless bless that's all i can say because no it would not work for us 
No way, no how. Uh, okay, what's the next question? Or uh, what part of the day do you photograph? Right now. Right now. Live. We do. Right now. Uh, the reason that we are live on the internet making no money is because we need accountability. <clears throat> And we do not list during the day. Although we did list nine today. I did. They're in my drafts. Got them to prove ya. But for the most part, we put off listing. And so we'll like make up excuses. Ah, la, we gotta do this. And Dan's always like, we're so busy. Hey. He does. Don't lie. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I chose to be like, no, he's not that busy. We need to list today. And we did it. What size it is? 2X. And, um, we do not do free shipping around here, no ma'am. No ma'am. I also, this cap stuff, like, drives me nuts. Joan Vass, New York. Does it say that? It does not say New York. Well, I'll put it. Okay. So I just fill up the title as much as I need to. I don't like go overboard. But athleisure is a good word. Athleisure, I think I spelled that word. Um, yoga. And then I'm gonna put pants in here for sure because people cheat, you know search yoga pants instead of leggings. So I'm put that. Moving over to the TV to listen. So I may not be chatting anymore tonight. Have a great night, all. All we love you, Angela. Bye. I have inventory the next day or the next week even. Oh my god, I couldn't do it. I'm horrible at inventorying. I photograph and put in a Costco tote and then I measure and list and add SKUs after they're listed. Oh! <laughs> You're describing Amy's nightmare. Oh! <laughs> Amanda, we've got to get you out of this habit. You're here. We need to switch this up. A habit is just a habit. You know what? It takes seven days. You can get out of this habit. So, girl. <laughs> I can't fit stretch. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a room. What's in a room? 6222. I do drafts in the evening. So what Amanda is talking about here is what we call a skeleton draft. Where, well, we do sell similar and just save it with the price. Um, I photograph first thing in the morning. I always do inventory and listen, put, as I listen, put things away. We gotta get you, oh, Amanda Green. Come on, child. Like <clears throat> these are just barely over a pound. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So when they're over a pound, we need to put them into the priority our priority category because they need to go in a flat rate envelope. What is the end scene? Twenty nine. You guys send me pictures. Stop. Stop pulling me. <laughs> Dang it. And the waist. Forty to forty eight. And then the classic fit, we're going to say no personalized, no handmade. I don't know if that UPC is the same, so I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put pre owned. Excellent. Pre owned. <coughs> I'm gonna copy and paste the title here. And let's see, we sold for $19.99. Oof. Ouch. All right, we're going to go with $24.95 and see what happens. Remember, we didn't choose all of these clothes. Some of them chose us. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thanks, Matt. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Appreciate you. Pictures. All right, don't forget about these. They're sitting in the left. I only list six items per day. That's good. I photograph as soon as I get home from dropping them off at school. I mean, that's good. Six items a day is consistent. Amanda, didn't you used to come on here like, I don't want to list <laughs> <laughs> my phone. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. I can't. My phone's dead. I got 2%. I feel like you've made, you've turned the corner. I'm going to make sure my size is right because it definitely wasn't. And also the brand is wrong right here. So it's, when I sell similar, sometimes people's stuff is just jacked up. You know, you gotta 
We want to make sure it's right. <clears throat> All of this stuff is wrong. What are we doing? Why did I pick that? Because it sold, probably. It did sell. Accents. Stretch. Stretch. There you go, Matt. I'll put in stretch for you. Thank you. Yes, my phone is also more charged in the morning. <laughs> hey, we got new phones. We're not opening them till Christmas. But we have them in our possession. iPhone 14. So we're going to be super special. Finally. I know. We're still rocking the 10s. Thank you. This Amanda said, I had a, I had a false photograph and charged my phone. <laughs> Y'all, it must be an Amanda thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Eight, six, and one. I homeschool my eight and six year old. Oh, that's so great. Cool. Yeah, that's a lot of work, though. That's the truth. That's the truth. All right, what are these? These are soft surroundings pull on pants. I guess I remember if you want it. Yep. Five, nine, six, eight, five. So nothing's coming up. So I'm going to go right over to the old google.com. And look up the style number, the ultimate denim pull on relaxed shape jeans. Thank you very much. Did it say this? They're the Metro leggings. Okay, cool. So we've already listed a pair of these. I'm going to go find my own listing because I trust it more. Hopefully it comes up. Oh, oh there, buddy. Oh, there. Those are ours right here, the coloring metros. What okay. size were the other ones? I, I haven't found them yet. Oh, okay. oh, here they are. These are ours. What are, what are those? I don't know. I think they were two eggs. I don't want to just compare them. These waist measurements. are, well, the waist is, oh, I guess I could. Mm. These are a three X. And, yes. you know, the waist is going to be a little, I guess I can look at the actual listing. <laughs> Okay, the waist on the ones that you measured yesterday, you put 42 to 48. They were 3X? Yeah. Then that's what these are as well. Okay, cool. Perfect, so I don't have to change anything. And they are black. So I'm going to change to black. And then go up here. The waist starts at 44, then I put a little more worn. Well, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Okay, and these are going to be 6223. We're going to go here to the inseam and everything is 30. Yeah. Yep. Copy the title. Put these at the same price. Listen for their priority because they're over a pound. Cool. And school is out because of COVID, and I had to homeschool my kid. Literally cried every day. Oh no! <laughs> What's up, Melissa? How are you doing? Hey. Happy Tuesday. We're doing all right. We're listing 20 pairs of pants tonight. We are going on a trip this weekend, so we're trying to get ahead of the game. Also, we got 318 things from a haul, <laughs> and so we're trying to like 
not let that crush overwhelm us, us. Yeah. overwhelm us and crush us normally it does and we're like no as soon as we got the haul home we listed 27 items that same night which is so unlike us but we're trying to turn over a new leaf yep we want to get it done i think you're frozen friend what who's frozen you're frozen on my like this <laughs> get all this in the screen <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> I love those old people when they're always like, how do what? I make it work? What? What is happening? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. Thank you. I've been taking so many trips. Y'all should make reseller boxes. I love sourcing inventory online. Fun fact, we have some up on Poshmark. Yes. Um, I think. We still have them. Where are they? <laughs> I think they're under the desk in the other yeah. room. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sent. Oh my gosh, I cry. I laughed till I cried, Melissa. Did you ever see that meeting where the guy couldn't figure out how to turn off the dog filter? <laughs> 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 laughed until I cried. Well, your favorite one's when the, the British guy and his kid comes in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like, face palms or yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> she comes in with such conviction. <laughs> and then the little one in the walker comes in. <laughs> Man, love the old virtual life. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, we need to put the note. I have to put a note here because there's something wrong with it. However, there is some slight glue residue from a former label inside the waistband, not seen from the outside. Just want to note things like this because this is like return fuel. Return fuel. <laughs> That's true. And, and then the guy, was it a dog or a duck? But the guy was like, I'm not a dog. <laughs> so people were like, uh, we know. <laughs> Why do you have to clarify that? All right, what are these? These are soft serranis, pull on pants, style number. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Five eight two two one. These are a viscose poly blend. I feel like we listed these yesterday. Um, uh, let's see here. So I always try to like narrow it down by the cell number. This doesn't work. There's just herringbone. Yeah, there's herringbone. Like soft. There's soft surroundings. Soft surrounding soft pull on pants. Herring bone. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Images. They kind of look like these. Was that the incline? Huh? Those. Uh, I mean, basically. They don't have legging pockets or anything. Okay. They got nothing. Nothing. You lose. Anyway, I'm just going to put it into the eBay here. And we're just going to see if we can find soft surroundings, pulling pants, herring bone. <clears throat> I swear I saw these yesterday. I mean, I listed these. I guess not. They're not coming up. Are they leggings? Like not ponty knit. No. Yeah, knit though. So if you don't know, a ponty knit is like real thick. It's a four-way stretch. And these are just not that. They're, they feel like a legging. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with this this listing here that's like indescript. Do this. So these are gonna be yeah, they're tapered like they're gonna be size what? Two X. I try to put in a plus size if I can fit it. This one looks like not like that plus size. <clears throat> plus size. So I can't put in plus, so I'm just gonna put size two x comfy. I guess that might be the comfy pawn. I don't know. Here you go and take your leg. And this is gonna be six two two four. Plus size. Here we go. Two. Come on. eBay's going real slow. Anybody else on eBay going super slow? He was doing this to me last night. Today was okay during the day. Dancing? Waste? 40, 48. Dancing? <laughs> I, I thought you just measured it. Yes, we have a whole weekend of concerts coming up. We're going to try to... Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this person is trolling me on eBay, and I'm just not having it. The raw <laughs> person came back at $5. Oh, no, can't if it's that. one of you, I'm not having it. <laughs> 30 is the insane. Thank you. I'm gonna go up here where it says pattern. This is solid. I'm gonna put herringbone. That's who it is. I'm gonna place these a little bit lower because they're not as substantial. I think those are gonna be this class, but I'll have you weigh them. Just accepted an offer on eBay. Cha-ching! Melissa's packing a sale with dinner with. Okay. We are going to see a bunch of bands. One called Slightly Stupid. One called 311. One called, um, I forget who that was festival. Yeah. Dirty yeah. Heads? No, I don't think, I know. I forgot who else is there. Not Revolution. Nope. Um, I don't know. But we going. 311 going to be there. It's slightly stupid gonna be there. <laughs> That's <laughs> awkward. Fourteen point four. So yeah. Okay. One more question. You can have all the questions, Shannon. How you doing? Then I, you don't have to stop ever. We're here for you. We don't make any money. We're literally here for you. <laughs> I have a vintage women's black blazer with a satin collar and satin covered buttons. Would tuxedo be an acceptable keyword? Very acceptable. You could also call it a dinner jacket or an evening coat. <laughs> what would you call that? I don't know if it's like an evening wear, evening jacket, evening mm -hmm. satin means tuxedo, means evening, means dinner. All of those are like perfectly fine. Yep. Stick figure, you got it, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, stick figures there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, stick figures. Okay, uh, maybe let me just check the lineup. Hold on one second. One second, please, because I don't even know. <laughs> God, that's terrible. If there is a reggae fest going on, we will be there. And you're gonna you just look at the just look at your bands in town and be like, Amy and Dan will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, here uh here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Girl, I did, how do I see who's at the dang... Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, here's... Oh, there's many activities. All the activities. I will not be participating in any activities. <laughs> I will not find you there. Uh, 
the elevators are there, Fortunate Youth, Soja, Method Man, and Red Man, 311, Stick Figure, Particle, Sound System, Boogie Brothers. I don't know who any of these people are. Okay. No, I know some that Damian Marley is going to be there, which I do know. Stephen Marley is going to be there. <clears throat> oh, it's Cali Vibes. Leave me alone. Why is Cali Vibes in this poster of the Sun Group? I was like, Revolution's going to be there? No. Maybe because it's the same ticketing or... That's so Cali Vibes this year is rocking. It's usually pretty rocking. I know. Remember we didn't go last year because of COVID? Yeah. It's Revolution, Stick Figure, and 311 on Friday night. Anyway. February 17th. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day present. Right. Totally. Um, smoking jacket. You could smoke in any jacket. Fun fact. You know, but that would be a good thing. Um, I have Slightly Stupid Live in San Diego for sale. I feel hip. Yes, Beth. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me list these herringbone pants. Hold on, I gotta concentrate on what I'm doing. Did I mention that I have ADD? <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot I was listing clothes. I was like, in it. now I'm planning trips in February. Right, just great. Oh, it didn't, it didn't do it. What, what didn't it do? But when I move the pictures around, it doesn't like stick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> what are these? These were soft surroundings jeans. They have a style number. 5AP49. I have this. Oh, that's cute. Lacey Hem. Here we go, right here. Place Hem. All right, if, if I can't find a sold, I'll go for this listed one and plagiarize it like JB is saying. I will. There is a sold here, so I guess we'll go here. Didn't sell for that much, so we're going to have to, like, spruce this up. If it doesn't sell for as much as I want, I spruce it up. Okay, perfect. This is what these are as well. I love Slightly Stupid. If you just go by their band name, you're like, okay, I wouldn't like that. But actually, when Dan and I put on a spot, uh, what is that place called? Pandora. Pandora. And then we both like a song. We'll put on Pandora, like the 311 station or something. And we both like a song. We're always like, who is this? It's slightly stupid every, time. every <laughs> single time without fail. And we both like it. But then when you ask us, are you slightly stupid fans? We're like, eh. <laughs> Apparently, we're huge slightly stupid fans and we don't know it. Because we're slightly stupid. Hmm. Mm. Coworker Matt is obsessed with Ween, like you guys are 311. There are some huge Ween fans out there. The uh, bass player from 311 being one of them. Yeah. I like Ween a lot. But I'm more like on the slightly stupid side. Like when we talk about jam bands and stuff, I would like um I'm more of a Dave Matthews fan to be honest. I know that's more like trendy, but or like more mainstream, but I'm from Charlottesville, like was not at the time. But like that kind of a jam band, I'm more, more lean that way. But my best friend in college used to lean toward like, we used to have to go to shows. Oh, Laura, what was that show? The String Cheese and The Fish. Oh my God. I went to all these jam bands. Everybody just dancing all crazy on drugs. I was like, all right, um, I'm going to head out. <laughs> I was not into that for sure. But I did go because my friend wanted to go. We had fun. Oh, and he goes to fish too. Yep. 
Are you a Weezer super fan, Matt? I didn't know that. I like Weezer. I'm not a super fan, but I'm a big fan. I would say. I was the guy on drugs dancing his face off. <laughs> <laughs> you were too. I already met you. <laughs> if it was East Coast and it was like something like that, I already done met you. I didn't even know it. <laughs> like, who's that guy? Oh, he's a Weezer super fan. I didn't know that. Well, if you listen to Sirius XM, the freaking lithium lithium station they play uh, the sweater song <laughs> they play we they play a lot of weezer just in general but so much but every time we get in the car the sweater song comes on every, and we're like <laughs> like every time like 90 percent, like over 90 percent of the time it's not even funny anymore i mean i love <laughs> weezer and i love other songs but the sweater song over and over again like guys sometimes we'll hear it like two or three times in a day we'll go into the thrift store yeah we'll come back out in the car and they'll start it again <laughs> Is there no they like love that song? Is there no like indexing to be like we just played this forty five minutes ago? <laughs> right. Satellite radio hits the same exact problem that old school radio had. Yeah. Real radio had back in the day. That satellite radio problems to you know fix. I so bummed to miss Morrissey, but the show was already on YouTube and he was sick too. Oh, he was. He was just in Dallas as well. Not just, but maybe like a month ago. I didn't know you missed that. I'm sorry. Amanda said, I've been to a fish concert. I fell asleep on the grass, and my fish head friend still gives me crap about it. <laughs> I was unknowingly pregnant with my first, though. Oh, you got an excuse. It happens. <laughs> I'm a Florence in the Machine and Mumford and Sons kind of girl. I like this. I like all of that. And this super cute. So Dan and I have like similar music tastes. We actually met, you know, over music, but we have different music tastes in some regards. And I'm a huge Wilco fan. Like I'm a Wilco super fan. And so I'm into like Florence and Mumford and all of that. Because they were all influenced by Wilco. And I've been a Wilco fan since I was about 12 years old. Love Wilco. And then every time Dan gets out of the car, I put it on Sirius XM, the new station, the university indie station. <laughs> because I'm like totally down with that kind of music. He just doesn't really vibe with it. But it's cool. They're definitely over. Shannon's like, back to the poncho. <laughs> <laughs> Need help with the neckline. It's just a straight opening. I would call that boat neck. If it's really long and straight, boat neck. I feel like I don't belong here anymore. No, of course you belong. The univ music is the universal language. Who do you like, Amanda? No, you already just told me. Florence and Machine. Oh my gosh. The thing that's made me cry harder than anything in my whole life that was foreign to me was that Florence and Machine YouTube video where she sings that girl with cancer in the hospital bed. I can't even talk about it. Whoa, whoa, woo, woo, woo. If you need a good cry ever and you need looking for something. <laughs> whoa. Whew. It's a good one. If it's playing on a college radio station, I'd probably same. I've been into that. Um, I saw this new band, and now I'm like totally obsessed with them called Bleachers. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Freaking amazing! A really unique sound. And I've been like listening to them a lot on my off times. I saw them on Fallon or something, and I was just like, oh my god, this band is so good. Yeah, I think they're all on the internet, Melissa. I'm not really sure. I just have Sirius XM in our car, which we shouldn't be paying for. I really need to get rid of it. It's not that good. We get we get in and put it on Spotify anyway. Sometimes we basically just subscribe for Grant Random. And that's it. <laughs> we always hear him like once. He's always yelling at us. You <laughs> suck. I'm like, oh, you might die today. Like, oh. <laughs> He's very happy. <upbeat. laughs> <laughs> 
Let's do Miss Says. What was the inseam of those pants you just did? 28. And the waist? 46. No, I gotta, I gotta concentrate. 46 is what I should put in? Yeah. Well, Amanda, if you were saying you like Florence Machine and Mumford and Signs, you need to check out Wilco. It's the OG. And we saw um, the lead singer of Wilco. His name is Jeff Tweedy. We saw him in Dallas, and it was an incredible concert. And Dan didn't even know Wilco, but he loved it. Didn't you love it? It was good. It yeah. was so good. And you were totally right about his crowd interactions. He's so good. He, like, heckles the crowd. <laughs> the best he, doesn't, he doesn't take any shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Amanda, this is something we have got to New Year's resolution you. She said, I haven't seen anyone concert except Colby Calais, or however you spell it, when I was like 12. Live music is good for the soul. It's so good for you. How do we fix this? Yeah, exactly right. So Amanda Green said, get Pandora and go to the station based off one of your favorite songs and artists and look at who's playing when a song comes on that you like. Yep. Rush is great in concert. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A five-hour concert. I don't. I do not doubt it. I saw Rush once. It was awesome. Jill said, "I listen to all kinds of stuff, but I really know who sings it most of it. But then I'm old and haven't paid attention closely since the '80s hair bands. Hey." I get down with the 80s hair bands. Oh, yeah. I love 80s hair music so much. Wait, what am I listening to? Guys! <laughs> let's say what? These are just, let's say, leggings. 2X. God. <clears throat> Quit distracting her. God. Oh, my God. I love Primus, too. So, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to shame, <clears throat> shame anyone for music. I just think it's a really good addition to your life if you're not, like... You know, adding it to your daily rotation. Um, they should have a style number. Yeah. Yeah. All of these have style numbers. Oh, seventies music. So my dad is in seventies bands, you know, and um, so I grew up with seventies music. I love it. I'm going to try this one. 10 1372 A2. Um, a lot of them are just like four numbers or something. Hmm. There's a PO number, but that's usually not it. Yeah, so... Nothing on here that says style number. It might be like one. So these are like 5199 or. What's the middle? One three seven two maybe? Yeah. Half of the thing about reselling is like trying to figure out which one is the style number. For real. I think this is it. I don't know. It's the comfort stretch leggings. Don't ask me why I think that. I don't know. I'm just going to put that on. Put it. My one-year-old is banging out to Slayer right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am not social, Jill. I appreciate that. I take it as a compliment what you just said. She said, see, Amy, this is why you list more when you aren't live. You are too social. In a good way, of course. <gasps> I have never been called social in my entire life until you, Jill. <laughs> I am just not social. It's only because there's a screen there. 
-hmm. insulating a little bit. <laughs> Are there a back seam on the leg or anything? All right, we're just gonna call these what I what I said we're gonna call them. Uh, I uh, comfort stretch. Let's call these get behind here. Um, I'm an introvert, a hundred and a million percent. So I appreciate that. We don't all have a, I know eBay camp. <laughs> we don't all have a powwow meet up one day. I quit. We need eBay camp. It takes time to find your tribe. I agree. Jill, same. That's the same. Jill says, um, I am social in small groups, but not in large ones. A hundred percent. Amanda, me too. An in or introverted extrovert. Um, we talked, we used to talk about it on here all the time about personality types and, uh, what type of these two? Uh, yeah. I am an INFJ, which is like, and a true introvert 100% that parades around as an extrovert. So people always think I'm an extrovert. Nobody's ever called me social, but like normally people with INFJ have like jobs where you're required to be an extrovert. Like I was a teacher, so I have to be in front of people talking. And um, that's how you know. Okay, well, 6226. 6226. Six, six, um, 2x. Are this high rise and shaping? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Two X. Yeah, everybody share your personality types or your enneagrams. This is a fun conversation. I you love it. I'm a four. Dan's a two. Everybody say what you are. Although I haven't taken the test personally, and he just knows on the two, apparently. <laughs> Which is such a four thing. <laughs> Waist size of those? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. What of the the yeah. 36 to 40. So, and then what are the inseams? 29. I want to see everyone. This is the other thing. I have such bad ADD. I get like, I forget I'm listening. I just want to look at everybody's personality yeah. types. Yeah, April, you're an eight. You're definitely an eight. You're the eightest, eightest <laughs> of all eights. April's my friend. I know her. She's definitely an eight. I like, called her out on it. Well, like, you an eight, aren't you? <laughs> like, how do you know that? Mm. Eights are great. Eights are my favorite people, except for twos. Yep. See. <laughs> <laughs> nice recovery. I know. I was like, whoops. I do love an eight, though. Because she, she, meaning eights, have everything that twos don't, Sarah Bud. It's truth. <laughs> eights are no nonsense. Oh, a lot of nonsense. You all are nonsense. <laughs> you, are all, you the all the nonsense. You ask Dan a question, he like, mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> he gets all squirrely. Can you answer a dang question? Did you? <laughs> Hundred percent nonsense, this guy. Hold on, you guys. I want to look at your thing. I can't believe April's still here. April, what are you doing? <laughs> She's learning. She's like, what is, this is the weirdest thing I've ever been part of. Do you feel like you're in an alternate reality? Wait, did, were those under a pound? Yes, they were like 14 ounces. So if it's under a pound, there are some last guys. Come on, we got this. We got it together. Thank you. <laughs> April said it's like a podcast. <laughs> Man, maybe we should have a podcast. Maybe we can make money. Are you doing something, April? Are you being productive? April's not a reseller, everybody. She's about to be, though. I'm training her. She's reseller assistant. She's going to be, no, she's going to be like, she's going to take over the world. She's an eight. Yeah. Eights take over the world. 
Amanda said, I don't know, but I'm yellow and blue. What? All right. You guys are planning a Dallas meetup. Hold on. You got to make sure we're in town, though. I think my brother-in-law lives in Dallas, but I'm not sure on that. I might could drop by, drop the family at his house. Everybody's planning this. Amy, have you done strength quest? What did you get? What strength quest? Oh, here we go. I was an INFJ the first time I took it. Now the F and the N sometimes seem to switch. My eye is weak though. Oh, so you're like an, you're more of an extrovert now, it? Everyone get a hotel in Texas, and we will meet up at a spot. Oh, my God. They're, they're all coming. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Marianne, you're a four. Really? That makes me really happy. I, I don't really know any fours. And I'm kind of embarrassed to be a four. Sorry. Had to log back in to say I'm an INFP. Okay, so a J is like a judgment, per, a judgmental person, and a P is like a perceptive person. So like they're very similar, Angela, but I'm more judgy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know it? Are you gonna look these up? All right, hold on. I'm learning about eBay camp. Everyone's having eBay camp. We don't have to plan it. It's perfect. Sweet. Okay, uh, what is it? Can you help me? I'm moving on to my second beverage. Thank you. And it's already in North Texas. Let's do it. Yo, just make sure we're in town. We're not in town a lot. <laughs> okay. All right, what, is, what are we doing? These what are soft surroundings. Uh -huh. They're pull on pants. Uh -huh. Look like the fake jean targets. Okay. Got a style number. Okay. I think it is either 59164 or S9164. See if we can Google this. Yeah, we can meet at the bins, but I don't really talk to people at the bins. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Amy, please tell me you know your color. I don't know my color personality. Wait, all these people are telling me these tests I have to take. Oh, gotta, Lord. I gotta oh, take a Lord. picture. April, can you remind me? <laughs> <laughs> I love having April here. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> sure, why me too? She's like, you need to test them again. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> these are we listed these yesterday. These are those. Yeah, the blue ones. The salt super. These are the super stretch pants. Yes. Hey. You should pick the date. Oh no. Oh no. I have to pick a date. Oh no. Uh-uh. Strengths Quest gives you a top five strengths. It's a positive spin on personality. It's also good to use to access a team and to know how they work. Good. Okay, cool. Strengths Quest. Wait, I better take a picture because I'll forget. And then I'll forget that I took a picture. Um, Everything. And then there's something about colors too. Colors. Color person. These are over there. Let's see. Um, super stretch pants. Casual slim. What size are they? Two X. I'm not shy. This there's a difference between being shy and introverted. I just don't care to talk to people. <laughs> and that's the truth. And once I do talk to people, I get very exhausted for like a full day after that. It's, I do talk to people. When I meet you guys in public, I'm not awkward or anything. I mean, no more than normal, like <laughs> stranger interaction, right? Plus size what? 2X? Yep. Super stretch pants, black, casual slimming. What is the number on those? 6227. Thank God Dan's doing some work because I would be totally off the rails right now. Side oh, I use a plus two X. Insane. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. 
I like the this the the quest one you were talking about because waste forty to forty six. Because and Marianne can probably back me up in this, the fours don't have the greatest uh we're known as like the dreamers, the dramatic. There's not like <laughs> There are people at the heart of it all. A four is someone who wants to leave their mark on the world, who has a fear of leaving without having done something to make a name for themselves. That's at the heart of it. But with that comes like some pretty bad connotations. Like we're uber driven, um, a little dramatic at times. Dreamers, it's called the dreamer, which is the type. And I don't know many fours. Uh, inspirational, the people like when, when you say, oh, they drank the Kool-Aid, the people that lead cults, they're always fours, all of them. But Gandhi was a four, so that's not necessarily bad. But cult leaders are always fours. I get for one stars, right? <laughs> I don't know. You said they were over a pound? Yeah. Did you send pictures? Yeah. Did you? Did you send pictures? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda said, crap, I might be a four. I mean, Angela, crap. <laughs> I know, right? Or, you a cult leader -y? Mm, A little bit? <laughs> See, she knew. Call leaders are always for us. Always. But you know what? Okay, if you use it for good, it can be good. I always have, like, a strong, loyal team by my side. Like, ride or die people. And so that's a good thing about fours. They inspire, like, a really tight-knit group. of. I have, like, the most loyal friends ever, and I love that. I just when I read it on paper, it sounds so bad <laughs> being a four. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I am now putting people into categories as cult leadery or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JB, you took it. You're an eight. Eight is the get it done, no nonsense, and I can totally see that about you, JB. Okay, wait, what are we doing? You're soft surrounding this. Cult on. They're like. They're cute. They're they got little ties. Yeah, you got a style number? Yeah. Five, four, eight, three, eight. Represent cotton two X. I just took a personality test on the results though because it wanted me to pay them. You see, no, 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 no. I always just keep clicking so I find the free ones. What? I don't have this one. Okay, so when I don't have the style number, I'll go soft surroundings, pull on pants, tie ankle. Let's see if we can find something where someone else has tried to describe these in pajamas. There's no elastic, right? Yeah. There, oh, at the bottom? Yeah. No, but at the top. Wait, but if you pull it, it's not like a drawstring. Okay, thanks. Well, now I gotta concentrate for a second. I can't find these pants. Let's see if eBay knows the answer to this question. I actually think, Marianne, you might be the only other four that I know. I'm trying to think in my head if I know any of them, and I don't.
because normally fours are kind of like a little bit crazy. I, okay, I know what you're thinking, but you know, if you were to archetype them and write a movie character about them, they'd be the ones like flipping out in the bathroom and smashing their heads in the mirror or something. But that's not how it actually is. <laughs> You guys watch White Lotus? We just finished the first season. I can't find these pants. See, I get nervous when I can't find the pants. Should I just go? Yeah, man. Just All right, go. what size are they? 2X. Wait, April, did you watch it? Have you watched season two? Because I just finished season one. You didn't tell me about it, and I'm like not okay with that. Just to keep me informed about these things. Um, but what I was thinking is the girl who's like, oh, I want to get big. She could have been a four. She was definitely a four. And she was like, I want to do something with my life. Total four. <laughs> okay, wait, you're getting ahead of me. I'm getting nervous. Hold on. Okay. So I'll turn on pulling pant tie ankle, size 2X. She said it's so good. Yes. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Great. So plus, that's what I was asking about shows the other day because I didn't have one. What are they made of? Cotton. 6228. Yep. No, I haven't watched Wednesday yet. I'm waiting for that. I feel like it might be a little kitschy. I do like kitschy, but I'm, I was in the mood for something a little more dramatic. I just want to watch like Jean Bonnet documentaries all the time. <laughs> they can't make enough for me. <laughs> I'm always like, isn't there a new Jean Bonnet dancing? No. <laughs> Stop it. That's all I want to watch. Cotton, woven, materials, cotton, tie, all right. All right, I'm going to watch it. I just thought it was going to be kind of like fun. I mean, in a goth way. I totally know it's goth. You know what I really liked that was like kind of goth and dark was that Yellow Jacket show. I really liked that show. Yeah, that was really good. I was into it. I just thought of that because Christina Ricci, but I was into that show. And it was weird, you know? Mm-hmm. Were this priority? No. No. I'll just double check with it. No. Go first. Yep. All right, what is this? Is your soft surroundings leggings? Style number two two three oh five. I always start on eBay, but nothing ever comes up. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Something came up, uh -oh. something came up, something came up. I love when something comes up, because then most of the listing is already filled out. I just have to go fix it. Here's life for me. Got you. Thank you.
All right, so self surroundings. Oh, where was that characters? Oh. Plus, is that, are these a 2x? No, these are extra large. Okay. So they're not plus size. Not plus size. The butler did it. I don't even know what that means. You better not be spoiling the JV. Unforgivable. Thank you. I loved all the Adams Family movies growing up. I love them. So I think I would like it. You gotta watch it. Yeah, we watched like we were watching way too much TV, and then we started listing Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights, and now it's more in check. Now we watch one episode of something, and then 90 Day Fiance, cause Avi, it's the best trash TV there's out there. I don't care what <laughs> anyone says; I will fight you to the death. It is pretty trashy. Man, but it's so addicting. We've watched every single spinoff. <laughs> we're now to the. Just watch Netflix Unorthodox Life. Shut up. What is this? Do we watch this? I don't think so. Sounds like something we would watch. Huh? What is it about, JB? Is it new? I feel like we probably watched it. Man, that one show about the Hasidic Jews in Brooklyn, or uh -huh. Brooklyn, not Brooklyn, Brooklyn, is so good. With Yankee? What was that show called? Oh, yeah. That was a good one. What is that? It was on HBO or something. I forgot what that was called. What's that in scene? 28. It just reminded me of Unorthodox, so they were not Unorthodox. Right. <laughs> That's so weird. 36 to 40. I mean, that show was so good. I think we, you know what other show we just watched in one day? We watched it one day. I can't remember what it was. What did we watch? Dead, dead to me. We watched Dead to Me. Lie to me? Dead to me. Dead to me. Yeah. In one day. The third season. Or fifth season. Whatever it was. The third, last season. Third. <laughs> yeah, is Unorthodox about the Jews? Or is this I think that's the show. Does it have the, Yonki in it? I think it does. <laughs> I think that was the, what the name of it. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, it's about jumping me? Uh -oh. mm. Wait, I think I already watched it. Unorthodox. My unorthodox life? First class. Oh, it's reality. <gasps> what? It's a reality show we don't know about. Oh, man. April, where have you been on this? <clears throat> okay, all right. Let's check it out. What is that ending? Dead to me? Melissa, what are you talking about? Oh no, April, we both have to watch it now. It's a it's a docu reality about a fashion person, Jewish lady. Okay, I just summarized that really strangely. <laughs> the personal and professional life of a fashion mogul, Julia Hart, a former member of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. It's on Netflix. My Unorthodox Life. Gotta watch that. It's two seasons. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel so bad for Christina Applegate. I mean, she just got her star, so that's great. But... She had to really fight to get through the season. I read all the articles about it. At least she did it. You know, that's so great. The end of that, I was not prepared for. I don't want to talk about it. There should have been a trigger warning on that show. I was not okay for many a day. I mean, I just came back. I am a six. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read that off the thing. I didn't make that synopsis. I read it. 
My synopsis before that was pretty bad. I'll give you that. Pretty bad. Nah. You don't know about these. These might be a bust. Okay. Oh, wait. What are you? Wait, wait. I mean, that's right. You're a six? Yeah, I'm six. Loyal Guardian. Yeah. I can see that. All right, what is this? Carolyn Rose. Leather? Do I say play? I say vegan leather? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, these might be a bus. I don't know. I mean, we'll still list them. I just. Yeah. They are new tags. New tags. There are three X. So I just grab them, you know. We'll just. I'll just list them. I think they're like boutique or something. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a live one night where everyone gets their all their personality tests done. So we need three of them. You have to do your Enneagram, your uh, Bri Migs Briars Briggs. How do you say? <laughs> God. Myers Briggs. There you go. Whoa. And then whatever color situation is happening, and some. Okay, there's four of them now that I took a picture of. And then we can all compare notes. We need some some notice that was going to take some time. Maybe the first show back on the new year. How about that? Ooh. We'll all compare personality tests. Because you have to learn about everybody else's too. You can't just learn about yourself. Fours out there as I'm talking to you. <laughs> yep. All right. Matt, what are you? I think you might be a two. I think you and Dan are the same. Change it to pink rose. I did not type that. Three X, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, he is a two. I knew it. See? Knew it. I love a two. Y'all, you're just the nicest dang people. If you ever met somebody that's like the nicest person that would never harm a fly and has the biggest heart you ever met in your life, and it's just like genuinely like that. They like follow all the rules and they're just like just like the nicest, right? They just like don't cause problems. <laughs> they're twos. I love a two. I love a two so much. And they have the biggest hearts. Y'all find yourself a two. Gosh, they're just so nice. They're best friends. So all the twos. I don't know what they're called. It's legging. Oh Jaden. Can I just put legging? Oh, a man's a nine. I know a ton of nines. I love nines. I lean nine sometimes. Nines are good people too. Everyone's good people except for sorry, Marion. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Why? Well, according to the book, I think fours are great. It's just like when you read about them, it's just, it's just an awful. Oh, great book. JB, you have the greatest book selections. Great book on Myers for a please understand me. Okay, all right, check that out. I'm going to take a picture of it. So many pictures of our chats, you guys. I never know. <laughs> What did I do? Why did I do that? One day it's gonna, I'm gonna go airdrop and it's gonna come up. <laughs> what am I listing? 
what is it, 6230? Yeah. Something about your setup here. Things. Drafts. There we go. I saved it. Kind of. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's pretty, pretty hot. Pictures coming. She got like a freaking boiler here. Wait, what was your question, Kim? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me look one more time. And that's how to uncontrolled. I hate it. Everyone's off doing personality tests. My color is gold. <laughs> Oh, as Dan, he'll fit it. On eBay, when something weighs, say, one pound, one ounce, how do you ship it? Still USPS? Yeah, I think USPS. Um, it's a plush. You, d It will never fit in a padded flat rate. Yeah, a regional A is what I would try next. Exactly right, Matt. That's what I would do. But also, like, if you suck the air out of a plush, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of fit um, Dan's favorite pastime. That's right. I'm in Idaho, and it needs to go to New York. It still might be okay. Or just do your own box or poly mailer. If it doesn't have anything, you know, breakable on it, you can just shove it in a poly. You do that with plush a lot. For what it's worth. Okay, what is this? These are J. Jill Essential Cotton Stretch. 24W New Ruth Tags. The color shale. What size? 24W. Exactly right. If it's just over a pound, it's going at the two pound rate. I've been trying to say that in our YouTube videos so people can understand that, like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Once you're over the pound, you're to the next pound, basically. What size? I'm sorry. 24W. W. W. Yeah, it's going to go two pounds now. Some people risk it for the brisket when it's like then, but we don't. There is like a little bit of a, I'm just being honest, there is a little bit of a grace at the post office sometimes. I don't know what the grace is because we don't do it. I think we did it once the other day. Did it come back? <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. But it was like 1.01. 1 .01. It was like that kind of a thing. It was like a tenth of an ounce. Yeah. So 
but we if it was 1.1 we ne we've never tried to send it first class but some people do because we get stuff that that's like that and it's sent first class and we're like oh i mean you know i, I don't know Yeah, you're right. Regional A should have the two pound rate anyway. That's correct. Yeah, you can do an, a regional A from Idaho to New York. Uh -huh. And sometimes the regional works, um, and you're in the middle of the country, so the regional is probably a good choice for you. And sometimes it works because it's a smaller box, to be honest. Less than the regional, whatever, because it's shipping at a two pound rate. It's just smaller than some of the other USPS boxes, to be honest. When you measure it, it's like this really cute little size. If they discontinue it, I'm jumping off. I'm going to be so mad. We're quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Rage quit. Yes, that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> if you notice that it's gone and we're gone, you're going to know why. Like, well, we couldn't take it. Matt, can we have you on our YouTube to talk about regional boxes? Because you just explained it so well and no one can understand when we talk about them. He said, yes, you can send the regional boxes anywhere in the U.S. How much it costs depends on what zone it's going to in relation to you. The lower the zone number, the closer to you. Should we have him on as a guest or what? Yeah, man, let's do it. We have your expert on regional rate shipping here. It, okay, Kim, it took us a long time to run shipping. I know that you're subscribed to our other YouTube. I'm pretty sure you are because I see your comments sometimes. Um, but that's the best way. Watch us every single day while you're working. Because I try to like over explain things because I know how hard it is. It took us probably a year to get comfortable shipping. And even a year after that to be like proficient at it. So just put us on in the background. I, I really do those videos with you and people that are starting eBay in mind. So I over explain things and soon you're going to be like, I know, Amy. <laughs> God, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> Once you know it, you know what I mean? You're going to be like, could she say it any more time? Some people are like playing drinking games about it. But it really does help to hear someone talk about it and it gets into your head. And the reason we started doing these videos is because there was nothing else like it. Everyone would be like, here's what we're packing up. And then they would snap and it would be all packed up. And we're like, but I was looking for the YouTube videos that showed me, right? Wait, but how, what, how'd you know what box to pick? I was you. Trust me. So, um, that's why I'm, I'm trying to help. Are those priority? I don't know yet. I found that I don't want to buy anything that's over a pound. <laughs> Well, anything that you can fit into a padded flat rate makes it a lot easier. So anything that's between one and two pounds, we charge eight ninety nine for. And you're in the middle of the country, so eight ninety nine is a pretty fair rate for you, being that you can put a lot of things in a regional box and they'll ship for under nine bucks. So if you do the shipping the way we set it up, you no, should be okay. Over. Okay, cool. I think you will be okay since you're in Idaho. You might lose a buck on a couple orders, but you're never going to be like. Unless your one to two pound thing I, is huge. I know it was, well, I mean, a little further west than we are. So. A little bit. But, I mean, it's not like New York or California or yeah, something. Yeah, that's true. Because if nothing else, they can put it in a flat rate. It just, depending on the size. If it can't fit in a regional box, then negate what I'm saying. Okay, don't listen to me. 
about their weight. It's about this size. Can you fit it in a padded flat rate or a regional box? Nine yeah. bucks should get it then. If it's one to two pounds. If you watch our, um, here I go again, getting setting up on eBay part one. I think you did watch it actually, but that's where we set up the business policies and we tell you how much the weight is and what we charge for that flat rate. And we charge eight ninety nine, and people pay it. Like we don't do free shipping and they pay it. Exactly. See, Matt and I said the same thing at the same time. He's like, don't be afraid to charge for shipping. People will pay. Yep. We said it exactly the same time. <clears throat> Did you pick exactly 20 so you know how many we need? Of course. Oh my god, this guy. Uh, there's probably been a couple extra. I don't nah. Know. Did you count them? The ones I brought in, yeah. You counted the 20? Yeah. I think these two were, were already in here. Oh my god, shut up, Tommy. He comes in here swinging. So I think that's right here is the Okay. He said, thank God regionals are gone the 22nd and the hustle couple has to learn shipping again. Nah, we know how to ship. It's just like, why wouldn't you use the cheaper option? He just wants you to... What's up, Mark? What live just ended? Because all y'all coming in here now, 9.32. <laughs> Who just ended? Spill it. Both of you. <laughs> You're like our cats. <laughs> Herding cats over here. Somebody just ended because both of them came in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And anyway, uh, no, we don't start shipping. I just use it because it's cheapest. Okay. Oh, Kim was watching the Nurse Flipper. Was it good? Don't talk about this around Tommy. He's got not nice things to say. Was Jake on? Who was on? All right, what is this? These are soft surroundings. Pull on jeans. Style number 5AB11. How have we done these? How have we... They all look the same, yeah, don't they? they? Do. No, I just like to give people a hard time. I don't care. You, I've said it a hundred times. We're here for us more than you. I'm real sorry about it, but it's true. We need you guys to be like, hold us accountable. We're just gonna, I don't know. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh man we got amanda's trolling tommy this is so good love it y'all troll whoever you want to i don't watch youtube so i don't even know who you're talking about half the dang time i mean i know who it is but i just don't watch maybe i should Five pocket style, I guess I could say. Yeah. Five fake pockets. So would these be considered jeggings? No, two pockets are real on the back. Are they jeggings? Sure. Are they boot cut? What are they? I don't know. Well, I gotta list them, so I gotta know. Yeah, that's great. jeans I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> what am I listening all right this looks good enough <clears throat> here she here goes going off <laughs> love it y'all have fun
Yeah, pirate ship can be a little confusing. You can get it though. Oh no, Mark shipped the wrong item to the wrong buyer. Uh oh. Do you have him switchy ruin it? You can have him do that. Good night, Melissa. <laughs> Kim is asking for help, and the JB said, I have a free review. <laughs> <laughs> JB can't give away this review. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, y'all, I just died. Also, I'm dying that Kim said I'm an insurance lady in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Women's, what are these? Hmm? What are these? Plus size, what? What's a 2X? Oh my gosh. Number. 62, 32. 32. Jake had a meltdown? No, he was here. He was fine. And then he went live. He had a meltdown? Oh, what? He was fine. He was in the chat. I mean, I wasn't at his house. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't fine. I don't know. Was it worse or better than Dan's meltdown? Stop. <laughs> On a scale of meltdown. <laughs> okay, what is that at least? 40 to 44. And the inseam? Priority on this, probably. Yeah. He couldn't handle the chat. Were you guys trolling him? Matt, you're a two. You don't do this. Oh, who did this? Who started this? We got PG-13+. plus. Jake did not like it. Oh, no. He didn't shut you guys down. I shut you guys down. <laughs> Man, is we got in trouble. <laughs> oh, my God. Bye, April. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. <clears throat> I came to Jake's stream late and he was apologizing. When I looked at the replay, I didn't see him freaking out or anything, just asking people to stop. <laughs> we got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. He asked you to take it. Oh, Amanda started it. Mm hmm. Trouble. Yo, it's trouble. No, they got in trouble on another live, not this live. You don't get in trouble here. There's no rules. What's the number? 6232. I mean, sorry, the rise. Twelve. Oh, why do I always do that? I 
hit the. I, I don't know. I have my fingers don't like your computer. Are you about to have a freak out? I think what? I might be having a freak out. What? And now you're all like, are you sweating? It's a wall. <laughs> you're schwitzing? Am I schwitzing? <laughs> Dan's schwitzing, everybody. It's all, all hot in here. Oh, it must have been later. Kent back at. Who's Kent? I don't know, Kent. <laughs> He's too nice to shut you guys down. That's the issue. He's just way too nice. I'm like, we have parents in here. We have people of multiple faiths. I'm like, no, not here. But he's just too nice. Y'all steamroll him. I'll have Megan wrench you. Megan's got the wrench. Megan, here still. She has the wrench. Matt has a wrench too, so he be in the he needs to be wrenched sometimes. Can a person yeah. with a wrench wrench another wrench? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Dan's in serious mode tonight. <laughs> Jake actually Googled toss salad. <laughs> He's so sweet. Y'all do you leave it alone? I'm crying. <laughs> Did he do it live? Could you see his kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. All right, what are we lifting? <clears throat> These are the soft surroundings, the lace hem jeans that are black. Uh, what do I call this earlier? I think I had them as a draft, huh? No, we didn't have the lace hem jeans. We had them in pajama pants. No, we had them in. Pretty sure they were jeans. You're spitzing like right here. I know. It's hot. <laughs> I think that was from the water bottle, also. Oh. Dan is trying to work the least amount of OT as possible. He's trying to make it to the, the goal post. Correct. <clears throat> All right, soft surroundings. Lace and jeans. All right, y'all need to stop. He looks it up on the screen. I can't. This poor little baby boy. Y'all need to leave him alone. <laughs> Jake is Jakob Benz. He's in the, He's probably lurking because y'all are making fun of him when he say he's here. Oh, we love you, Jake. Don't let these bullies get to you. He's like that. He's a two. How does he do this? The ultimate high rise lace. And G side what? Twenty two W. Black. Why am I dealing with the wrench? Amanda doesn't even know why she has a wrench. <laughs> oh my god, good thing. Good thing you have a wrench. You're supposed to shut down the box. I want people get out of hand. See if Jake had people with benches, they could have shut them down. Put them in timeout. Put them in timeout. <laughs> he is a sweetheart. I hope he never goes outside. It's a cool world. <laughs> So when we first started this live, I don't know, we didn't have an on right, and we kept getting these like sex bots, 
And so we gave people that were here regularly a wrench so that they could, like, attack them. <laughs> but Amanda doesn't even know why she has a wrench. Why do you have a wrench? Um, what's the number on these? 6233. 6233. What did I say these were? Self-turning? Yeah. Okay, the black jeans. Yeah. You guys doing okay in sales? Our sales are pretty good. Well, only because we're listing new things. That's the truth. What's the end scene? 28. So, list those things that people want to buy. Or we wouldn't have sold, like, seven things today. What size? 44. Seven of the things were newly listed. They're pre owned? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm barely getting through these listings today. I've been like way too social. I'm going to have to recover. <clears throat> Oh, she got on the new HSP? We haven't gotten on it yet. Nana, don't you break that little boy. Is it better? Is she getting more sales from it? I want to know all the things. Tell me all the things. Also, which video did you watch that you found this out? Because I'm behind. What is it? How much actually? What is the price? I'm a brand new baby seller. I love brand new baby sellers. They're my favorite. Yeah, we're selling the regular. So they're changing it. They're making some some change. change. <laughs> Dang it. These are J. Jill 3X Pima Cotton and Spandex. They're like sleepwear? No. Oh, they're okay. They're like leggings. Yeah. Bots. Oh, we got two bots on our other channel? Uh, so annoying. Yeah, what is that about? Thank you for reporting it, JB. Yeah, we got spam comments. I don't know why YouTube can't, the AI cannot pick up on those. They're pretty obvious. No, we can't give you a wrench on the on the YouTube. I don't know how to do that. I wish I could. I I don't think you can do that, right? No, I think you can add moderators to your. Oh, channel. I'll have Dan look it up. I'll totally make you a moderator. He can make you a moderator right now on this channel. I just don't know how to do it on the comment section. You said these are a three X. Yeah. Why do I buy hard goods when I only like selling clothing and shoes? It isn't a good deal if I never list it. Amen, sister. Louder for the people in the back. Mods in live chat can moderate comments on the channel too. But we don't, mm, but it's a different channel. Right. Fun fact. Yeah, but Tommy, they're supposed to be correcting all the wrongs. You don't believe them? You don't believe that eBay's gonna fix it? Uh, me either. 
We only use GSP on stuff that is over two pounds. Because I ain't trying to figure that out and weigh every single... Mm -mm, no, 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 no. So, but most of the stuff we sell is eBay International. Thank you very much. Bringing that to our baby minds. So, two things to Canada today. We said never sell to Canada because we had GSP. And now we sold two things today. In one day. No, no, I don't mind. No rules. Um, I don't know who Cha Ching King <laughs> has a new video on GSP. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. They're making payments mandatory as well. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we're getting it. Oh, everybody, it's a roll. It's a slow roll, you know. It's kind of like the listing tool. Slow roll out or whatever. Whatever. I'm just like, okay. We'll get it when we get it. We really don't sell much GSP. Maybe one thing a month. Fine. Uh, I need some measurements from you, Anna. What do you mean? What is the NC? 28. Eight. 40 to 48. Vintage note. Y'all, I would love to tell you that we're going to be here tomorrow, but I don't know if we will. Because it's the night before our trip and we have a 6 a.m. flight. Yeah. So I'm just being real with you. Maybe we can come in for like an hour or something. We could do that. Right? I mean, it just depends. If we pack during the day. How's that? Because I have to, you know me, guys, I have to get sleep, and so that whole, I have to wind down for two freaking hours after this live, because I'm like crazy person, you know. So I can't, I, can't, I have a really hard time sleeping, so I can't go to sleep unless I'm like fully wound down to 17 melatonins, 16 cups of tea, 14 YouTube videos in the background. So if I have to get up at six, I need to start that process early. Six o'clock to me is the middle of the night. And we have to, wait, wait, our flight leaves at six yep. from the airport. So we need to leave our house at like four o'clock in the morning. That is the dang middle of the night. I'm just now getting to sleep then. What are we going to do? Should we just stay up all night? Should we have a listening no, party all night? No. Who wants a listening party all night? Absolutely not. <laughs> he's, all pissed. <laughs> he's all pissed just thinking about it. Okay, so what you need to do, Amanda, is make a separate business policy that it, that does not include GSP. And you use that for your perfumes. We call ours ground. Everything got to go ground. And anything you don't want to ship to a foreign country, knives, that kind of a thing, you put it in the ground category. And then you can use your GSP on your other business policies. You better have business policies. Don't make me come over there. You better have business policies. Did you want me to tell you which video it's <laughs> 14 times? Okay. Tommy, you think it blocks stuff automatically. Mm -hmm. I have heard many a horror stories where it ain't. Does not tell Amy that I don't have business policies. <laughs> Did you want to go watch Getting Started on eBay Step 1, the video again? I'm telling you, it, it will save you so much effort in your life. They're very white. They look new. They are. Oh, they're new? Yep. Okay, what is this? Uh, they're J. Jill Denim Slim Ankle. Oh my god, all y'all on here, um, your new, new Year's resolution, all of you, 
that don't have business policies, you need to go watch the dang video and make yourself some business policies. This is crazy. You're just out here. Well, I can't say free balling. What am I supposed to say? Really? Well, I don't know. Willy nilly. Willy nilly. <laughs> you know, so I need. Mean... I don't know. Y'all need to get it together. It will make your life easier. And then you can do flat rate shipping. So if you don't have business policy, you're not doing flat rate shipping, are you? Be honest. Size, what are these? 28. 28, W? Yeah. Yeah. Authentic fit, slim ankle stretch pants, jeans. Sounds good. Brand occupant. New. 65. No free balling here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel plush for the love of God. It should not be this hard. I'm telling you, this policy makes it easier. Remember your question about going over a pound? You would have had a business policy for it. It's not hard. I'm trying to make your life easier. It just sounds scary. Stay in an airport hotel for your 6 a.m. flight. JP, you're so sweet, and you think we have money to do that. <laughs> I just read all the comments. <laughs> Kim is singing free ball into the tune of free ball. Perfect. <laughs> she didn't say that, but I can tell. And Matt is doing every single derogatory thing he can think of. <laughs> oh, man. Now, we set like a million alarm. We do this. Not a lot, but sometimes. Not our favorite thing to do, though. What's the rise? I don't know yet. Okay. But sometimes we have to. There was only two flights going in, and if we took the second flight, we would miss the concert. <laughs> well, there would be a high probability of us missing the concert, and that's not going to happen. Right? Mm-hmm. Rise is 13. Authentic slim fit ankle, right? Okay. Um, it just says slim ankle. Not authentic. Fit. No. Yeah, authentic fit. There okay. is. It wasn't. It wasn't on this side. That's cool. And waist. Forty-eight. You're terrified of flying. Oh my gosh. I like concerts way too much. I gotta get over that. Angel's asking, who does best offer on their listings? If you're not reading the chat, I'm just helping you out, Angela. Oh my gosh, so many people in our chat don't fly. Holy wow. I'm not judging you, even though I'm judging not I'm trying not to judge you. <laughs> I just love to travel so much, I can't imagine not flying. Because then, like, I can't go anywhere. We had to drive to El Paso, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm so over it. I'm like, can't we just fly? Are you kidding? So you're never going to come to Texas? He said that already. The last time he was on a plane was pre-9-11. Wow. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Flight anxiety is real. Xanax is my favorite flight. 
I'm not gonna lie, I get a little, I do get a little anxious sometimes, like when it's all bumpy and stuff. But I love traveling so much that like, nothing will stand in my way, nothing. I would take Xanax too if I had to. Hook it up. <laughs> Dan gets motion sickness. Oh. Sometimes it's really bad, yeah. Matt has nothing against flying, he just hasn't. I see. Is it hard because it's white? Do you know how many we've done? I think 15 or 16. We've done like a hundred. He's <laughs> so over it. <laughs> oh my god, Tommy! <laughs> Tommy reminds me of Grant Random so much. I love flying. It's a lot like Ghost Over. Never know if it's going to end well. <laughs> it's like you never know if driving in the car is going to end well either, especially in Dallas. Good lord. Every time we get in the car, someone's trying to kill us. Truth. True statement. There's no way we've only done 15. I swear to God, we've been listing pants for 17 hours. We could have gotten to El Paso and back by <laughs> He is so over it. I think this is 17. This one. Are you sure you counted correctly? Queen. Okay, we're not going to miss our flight. I'm not taking all y'all's bad juju. I remember doing this like yesterday or day before. Like, I don't remember what day it was, but I know we listed a pair of these. How many bands could we have done? Oh my god. You're wrong. How many have we done? We've already done 18. This Sweet. is 19. Sweet. Even better. No. Told you. Started in 40 minutes. Okay, tell me one more time. Pure Jill Indigo Slim Leg. Oh, we sold these today. In a 3X. So they should be in the solds because we definitely sold one of these today. How come our solds don't show up? It makes me crazy. Like, I just sold these. Is this a stock photo? I don't remember using a stock photo. Maybe it was a stock photo. Nope, that's not ours. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to use this one. Alright, wait, I gotta catch up on the chat. What's going on in here? I don't use this offer, by the way. I hate it. In my opinion, it brings out a different clientele. Oh my god, clientele. Stop it right now. <laughs> like People think it's a swap meet. It looks desperate, and they think you need the money. I do, I do need the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Matt's surprised you haven't turned into a pumpkin yet. Me too. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> Aw, good night, Teresa. I'm sorry, what, what size? 3X. All 
I'm really proud of us, y'all. We listed nine things during the day today. Can you believe it? And now we're doing 20. So that's 29 things in one day. For us, this is like unheard of. For an unheard of style carrot. Carrot. What the hell is that? I've never heard that before in my life. Hmm? Waste. 44 to 50. Uh, inseam. 32. Oh, so these are not ankle pants. No, ma'am. No. Rise. 14. What is carrot? I'm going to go under jigging. You're listing all of James 29. Right. <laughs> now he's getting some personality. <laughs> it's a glass one. Yes. You want to do solos? Let's do that one. Okay. Or another pair to say. Dirty solo. Extra, extra punch. I think we did we list a pair of these already. He had there. like lace on them or something. What? Mm -hmm. Getting ahead of yourself? Yep. I introverted to you though. What was the answer? 32. The rise was what? 14? Yeah. <laughs> Still bad. It's a vegetable, Amy. Grows in the ground. <laughs> Bunny's like that. <laughs> Why is it listed as a type of pant? Okay. I've never heard of a carrot pant in my life. So yeah, we're trying to get better about the same. Ow! More what things. Do do? I don't know. I just like twisted the wrong way. So that we can get more bulk buys because it's really the only way to scale a business with just two of us. We have to cut time somewhere and time cut sourcing. Unless we want to get an employee in a bigger space, which we don't want to do. So there we go. We need to get bulk buys, but we need to be able to list faster in order to get bulk buys. Because we don't have any space for it. Right. Oh, thanks, Megan. Hi. Appreciate you. We're on our last pair of pants. Come on. This is our 20th pair. Everyone's excited that you're here with the wrench. They're jealous that you have a wrench. <laughs> and they do not. So um, April, who was here earlier, is my assistant in the theater world. <clears throat> She's so amazing. And um, I think we're going to have her take some pictures. She needs a job over the holidays when she's not in school. And so I think we're going to have her take some pictures and just drop them into like Google Drive or something and measurements. And I think that will help. We're just trying to help her out a little bit with a little bit of work. But... I'm with you, with the control freak. I don't think I could ever. Yeah. <laughs> Fully let go of it? Yeah, I don't yeah. think I could. Let somebody list up for me, I couldn't do it. I'd have to, mm -mm, no. Uh, raise ASP to scale, same listings, no money. I, I got you, Tommy. I got you. I got you. If I could, I would. And I do when I can't. So it's different in in the clothing world than the shoe world, in my opinion. Because the ASP in clothing, when you start to raise it, you don't get daily sales. So we'll sell an $800 Eskandar thing, but maybe one every six months. 
right? Because you have to wait for the right buyer. So there's a there's a fine line. And this stuff that we're listing, the ASP isn't high, but we're selling tons of it. So we just kind of keep skirting that line. We list the really high end stuff, and then we list the bread and butter, and we list the really high end stuff, then the bread and butter, and that's what's working for us. That's what's keeping money paying our mortgage. So I'm going to keep doing it. If I could yes. have a source of Louis Vuitton bags that I could sell one a day and be done with it, I would love that. There's nothing that's wrong with that theory other than I don't have the product. And the product that we can find, some of it is high ASP. It just doesn't sell as fast to get the right kind of money. I mean, I could lower the price. And give it away. No. I'm not willing to do that either. It doesn't impact the kind of clientele I would like. <laughs> In my store. What is this called? Soma? Are they cool nights or something? I have, I have no idea. It doesn't say any of that. Black yeah. lounge pants. <laughs> and here we go. Is there a drawstring or anything that I should know about? Nope. Yeah. There's our pockets. Um, I don't think so. Nope, no pockets. All right, we're just going with this generic listing. Well, if I had a source for new attack clothing and linens, I would do that as well. I feel you. I would definitely do that. And we do like keep, you know, outsourcing and trying to get make connections with people. So maybe that would change. Like this year we started a stay selling. We never I never saw that coming. Did mm -hmm. you? No. No. So it just depends on what you know, what the universe has in store. I'm totally down with it. Large. I'm down with whatever comes our way. I'm open. Jim Jams. Jim Jams. What's the number? 6237. First class. I'm so excited. If it's not 225% sell rate, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Good luck finding something like that. It sounds like a miracle. Quite miraculous to beat the laws of simple math. <clears throat> Yeah, we've been doing better with sell through rate this year. I think that's why our sales have increased a lot. What are the inseam? 30. We have not done any, like, pretty much any listing that doesn't have a really solid sell through. So that's been helpful. I will say that. Which is coming. Dan is so oh. done. <laughs> it is a big change to go from listing, like, 10 to 12 things a day to 29. I get it. Especially when they're all pants. <laughs> it's yeah, so boring. Geez. It is so boring. Yeah, you can do it on mobile too. Do you have an iPhone or you're on Android? If you, if you have Android, you better put it in our group because everybody asks me all the time and I don't know how to tell them what to do. I know how to do it on iPhone. Yeah, you better put those instructions up in that group if you don't mind. Seriously, people ask a lot and more like, <laughs> For what about keyboard shortcut? Oh, okay. I just I don't have an Android to even like begin to know how to tell you.
so I learned that trick from being a teacher because <laughs> we had to email every single parent. <laughs> and so I would just have everything like, like in my head, I would have like something dollar sign, like, I don't know, chatty classy dollar sign or uh, great progress G dollar sign. I'm just like, done. <laughs> done. <laughs> and it looked personalized, you know, because right. it's like kind of about their kid. I just had to. <laughs> Perfect. I know, it's terrible. Nah. Oh. All right, here we go. The last ones are going into the Bindu. And now I'm going All to, right. while we're watching our show, I'm going to go and put in the labels. Because I've been label managing them. Yes. So that we know how much money we're making. We're already in the profit. Yes. So we just bought this huge lot on Friday. Oh, well, Sunday, really. And we're already in the profit. I do use them on when I'm on the Mac, not on the PC. <clears throat> how tired I look. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's legit. It saves so much time. Yep. I know some people use templates and stuff. I can't figure that out. Because I always want it to be a little bit different. Like I have B for brand new with tags. And... Works for me. As much as doing a drop down and selecting a template, I can do like the keystrokes just as fast, I think. Having a Dan to help with the same <laughs> as well. Drastically underpaid, I agree. Get yourself a Dan. <laughs> Good pre-owned condition, refer to photos, and minor fabric staining on uppers. <laughs> nice. Pretty pretty useful for shoes, for sure. I love it. It's like one of my favorite hacks. I don't think I have time to type out stuff. Nope. I'd rather put something than leave a blank, too, because I feel like that is better for my clientele. Mm -hmm, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to stop saying clientele now. Oh, man. oh yeah, I love it so much. My clients have. Right. So, All right, let's go have some snacks time. and watch some TV. All right, you guys, we're out of here. See you maybe tomorrow. I think we're gonna come for like an hour to get something done. Yeah, let's try it. But we'll have to check out early. So come early if you're gonna come here tomorrow. Yeah. All right, bye guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.